is Kelsey Sariwatari, and I am a dietetics student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Today, I'll be showing you how to make pancakes, but not just ordinary refined carbohydrate pancakes. I'll be showing you how to make a wholesome and nutritious version of them that is totally kid friendly. To get started, we'll first need to wash our hands. Let's head over to the sink now. You'll need to wash your hands for about 20 seconds thoroughly with soap and warm water. Washing between our fingers and nails before beginning anything in the kitchen is an important sanitary skill for children and adults to understand so that we may avoid any possible sickness that could be caused from hidden bacteria on our hands. Now that we've washed our hands, let's get all our ingredients together. First, we'll get our dry ingredients. In a medium bowl, we'll put half a cup of whole wheat flour, half a cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one eighth a teaspoon of salt, and last, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, we'll mix this together to combine and set aside as we get the rest of our ingredients. The wet ingredients for this recipe include 1 cup of buttermilk, 1 teaspoon of butter that we nuked in the microwave for about 15 seconds to melt, 1 quarter cup of applesauce, Make sure to look for the no sugar added applesauce when grocery shopping because we want to sweeten the pancakes with only the natural sugars of the apples. Next, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And finally, one whole egg. We will mix this with a whisk to thoroughly combine. Now we're ready to assemble the batter, but first we need to preheat the pan on medium-low heat. We will pour the wet ingredients on top of the dry and combine. This mixing method is known as the muffin method. Be sure not to overmix the batter. I find that a whisk is the best tool for this job. Overmixing the batter will create too much gluten, which is the chewy elastic protein found in wheat products. If your child is allergic to gluten or suspect that your child is sensitive to gluten, you can easily use gluten-free flours instead. One cup of oat flour is the perfect and delicious substitute in place of the all-purpose and whole wheat flour in this recipe. Our pan is hot, so now we can rub a little bit of butter on for additional flavor and to prevent any sticking. We know the pan is hot enough when the butter foams just like so. I like pancakes that are 5 or 6 inches in diameter, so I like to use a 1 3rd cup measure to make sure that all of my pancakes are the same size. We'll just pour it all in the middle and let each side cook for 2-3 to three minutes. Pancakes can be a great and smart way to begin your day because they provide sufficient amounts of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are an important source of energy. When broken down in our bodies, the molecules of glucose, which is our body's primary fuel, feed our brain, muscles, and other organs. It is important that we make healthy choices by incorporating the complex carbs like whole grains as opposed to the simple carbs like refined sugars. Let each pancake cook on its first side until it begins to bubble and the bottom is golden brown. Then, we can carefully flip them. We'll just finish the rest of the batch. This recipe will make about 8 5-inch pancakes for a total of 4 servings. So here we have two of our pancakes, 
and we'll just serve it up with some fruit as a nutritious and delicious side. Today I have a few segments of vitamin C packed oranges as well as a handful of blueberries which contain lots of antioxidants. And finally, some strawberries that I have sliced for some extra vitamin C as well as fiber. Now we can drizzle on a little bit of pure maple syrup, no more than one tablespoon, or you can serve it on the side for dipping. And here we have our no sugar added applesauce pancake. We'll just add a sprig of mint as a final touch. And here is a nutritious and healthy breakfast that your kids will love. Just pair it with a glass of milk and they're ready to start their day. Give these pancakes a try. Mahalo for watching.